Welcome back, family and friends, to another episode of Independent Joe. And tonight, what I have for you, or today, whatever time, whatever, whatever time you're watching this, um, what I have for you is another iteration of Hirsch. Hirsch uh, normally, well, they do source their whiskeys, put it in uh, various different types of bottles. Some, I think, there's, like, there's one called a bivouac. They have like a light blue label that that is uh, Indiana MGP. These right here, the yellow labels are. I'm not sure if they're reserved or or. It, I know it's not solely reserved for uh, Willet. Um, but they have been using these for their Willet products until this one, okay? Um, I'm not positive uh, what other um, distillery is in this. I do know that 95% of it is Willet Dissolute. Um, and it's actually one of the higher, higher uh, age, I guess, age stated whiskeys of Willet inside of one of these bottles this one right here is at eight years seven months 95 percent of it but they did put for some reason five percent of it is three year seven month old whiskey meaning that this whiskey is three years seven months there's no cutting in half and all that other stuff and or going by percentages it is the lowest age stated uh statement that that that's counted towards whatever age this whiskey is considered so i consider it a three year seven month uh for all intents and purposes i'm gonna go ahead and call it an eight year seven month because 95 percent um, and they are different mash bills. Uh, the mash bill for Willet is going to be the 72, 13, 15, whereas this other mash bill is 74, uh, 18, and 8. None of these other bottles have the other mash bill in them. It's just uh, supposedly believed to be Willet. And both of these are seven years, seven months. Both of them at different proof points this one happens to be at 122.7 this one at 138.3 the highest of all of these this one right here is at a whopping 128.2 so a little bit higher than this one 10 points lower on the proof on this one still excited to uh, try it uh, I, I, I like I love I appreciate the uh, will it I, I like what they do over there so I I have no issues with um, uh, will it product some people think it's overhyped and all that other stuff not to disagree with them because yeah it is pretty hyped overhyped whatever you want to call it I mean everybody has their opinions and uh, it, it's just the way it is so um, I don't know I, I i can appreciate the flavor profile a lot of people think it's it's maybe a little funky uh, a little off-putting for some for me it's just a uh, very nice uh some of those it's, it's just you know you're drinking a willet when you're drinking willet and i'm curious to see what happens when you mix a non-willet product with a willet product uh, not that i haven't blended that myself but uh yeah so I was gracious, gracious, or I was, I was given uh, the opportunity to grab this bottle through my buddy over there in uh, Kentucky, uh, DC, uh, DC uh, DMC, uh, and uh, Prescription Bourbon. So if you're not subscribed, please go subscribe. Really good friend of mine, awesome individual, great content. Check him out, please. But uh, yeah, I, I, you know, he told me that they had some of these bottles out there and then he drove from Kentucky all the way out here, hand delivered the bottle. Cool dude. I think he'll do that for anybody. All you gotta do is ask him. But uh, really cool guy. Check, it, check out his channels. Thank you to all the patrons out there who support this channel. Thank you to all the subscribers. Thank you to everybody. Hit the like button, all that stuff. I gotta say that midway through this thing, I guess, because then maybe some people will forget not to hit the like button but uh really appreciate everybody thank you for your support and i'm gonna go ahead and go in on this whiskey uh, since i went on the background of this not really too much to go into hirsch um, and what they do source whiskey all that stuff bottling company 
we know the deal so uh, but yeah really nice in color and tone now look at that right there got the glean got the glen nice 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 aroma um, it, it's, it's actually not on profile uh, surprisingly at 95 percent I would I would I would be hard-pressed to call this and will it I'm wondering if on the palette it's different it's still nice in tone rich caramels are in there I'm starting to get a little bit more of the the will it tone a little bit of that floral note uh, a little bit of that will it funk but uh, I'm, I'm not getting too much uh, spice maybe a little bit cinnamon but it's really uh, faint overall really nice really nice flavors really nice tones and um, you know what I'm gonna go ahead and go in on this right here cheers everybody again thank you for your support uh, hit the like button let's let everybody know that uh, let's let's find out a little bit more about Hirsch cheers All on the palate. The palate is um, very nice. <laughs> um, you could tell that there's something different about it with the addition of this other, this small percentage, and it's so coating, um, so rich in flavor, all the way through, man. Right from the tip of the tongue all the way to the back of the throat. Just rich flavor, uh, more of that cinnamon spices in there. Uh, I'm not getting too much of a savory note. It's really, I don't want to say bright because there are rich, rich flavors, dark tones in there. But it's it's so like explosive uh, once once it's on the palate and it coats uh, fairly well. Starts to 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 dry a little bit, but this is at. 122 or 28.2 so I would expect a little bit of, of drying down but now the a uh, little bit of that um, sweet nice oak is coming out what's being left on the palate it ain't like that dry or you know dry uh, popsicle stick of a, of, a, of a flavor profile on that one this one's actually some sweet oak as it's as it's drying down does dissipate um, fairly quick uh, not as I guess not as it's, it doesn't stay as long as, as maybe this one right here this one right here did this kind of the same thing maybe that in that 120 something uh, proof range and that's probably where it's it'll actually dissolve a little bit faster make you uh, reach for that next drink because it's a really nice pour or a nice nice sip when you get that first sip in there Yeah, it's really nice on the aroma. Nothing off-putting about it. And the flavor just keeps going. Um, I said keeps going, but I just poured it out in there. But, but overall, really nice tones, really nice flavor. I didn't put the music on so you don't hear anything in the background. It's really quiet. Might hear the air conditioning. I apologize about that. But it is what it is was kind of in a hurry just got through watching the bourbon bar check him out also really great channel they just they just uh, celebrated their uh, thousand subscriber which uh, congrats to you guys over there at the bourbon bar um, about to uh, go check out 21090 check them out as well um, overall um, trying to get see what happens after talking a little bit and trying to get uh, some of those flavors to regenerate but it, it once it dries, it just does leave you with that, like a sweet oak, like a little bit of a, a cigar, um, like a sweet cigar uh, flavor. It's not a rich cigar though. It's just kind of a like a. I, I guess it dried out a little bit on on the palate type um, after puffing the cigar a little bit, and it just sits there. But it's nice and sweet. And if, I think this would probably pair very well with a cigar. Um, I don't smoke myself, so I couldn't say that for sure, but, um, um, you know, 
you'd have to <laughs> probably check that out for yourself. I don't know how what the availability is on these and what the distribution is. Um, I know that um, my guy over there in Kentucky was very generous, and I really appreciate you, uh, DMC, for for uh, for uh, getting this out to me. And sorry it took so long to do this video, but uh, yeah, overall great flavors, nice tones. Uh, you're not left with just a dry palette. You're left with a, a palette that's semi-dry, but it's it has flavor to it. It's sweet. It's nice, and you don't have to rush back to go back to it. It doesn't leave it coated, but it does uh, leave it with flavor. So not bad at all. I'm gonna go ahead and take one more sip and say goodbye. Really appreciate everybody who watches these again. Um, hit like, hit subscribe, all that stuff. Um, Next week, I will be battling uh, Whiskey Corner on the channel on Wednesday here, so make sure you look out for that thumbnail. I will also, on September 6th, I will be battling uh, Four Leaf Whiskey. Check out both their channels, really awesome. Uh, can't, I can't wait to, to battle them. And then, uh, and then on the 13th, I will be battling uh, Toshi Baker and there might be a surprise guest on there who might be battling with us too so I, i'm not sure yet if if, if they're gonna actually do it. i still gotta get get back with them i know they had asked to uh to join it so we'll, we'll see how that works out but um thank you appreciate you cheers to you all love you guys thank you for your support again and let me go one more time Yeah, it, it changes. It's like ever changing. Now it's 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 almost less the Willet and more of whatever else, whatever other distillate is. I'm sure sure I can I can look up uh, that 74, 18, or eight. Or if you know out there what that second three year old whiskey that's in here, whatever it is, it's adding to it. It's not taking away. It's really nice and um, it goes back and forth with every sip on what you're going to get as far as the profile what flavor profile you're getting so really cool really nice uh, thank you all for your support again and i'll see you on the next one have a good morning afternoon good night whatever time you're watching this appreciate you all love you see you cheers goodbye thank you see you